Well, well, well. Nick Cousins has officially been labeled a red. What a big addition to your NHL resume. You see, last night, live on Hockey Night in Canada, Kevin Bieksa ripped him to shreds, didn't he? He couldn't have said it any better. Because Nick Cousins right now is dirty, he's cheap, he's reckless, and it almost feels like the league has just completely ignored him. Yup. Instead of fixing what's been pissing everybody off, instead they've been just handing out suspensions to anyone who retaliates against them. What a sick world we live in, jeez. But anyway, let's take a look at some examples. Example number one is the Eric Goodbranson incident. Now listen, nobody loves a big hit more than me. Nobody loves a big scrap more than me. I grew up watching 90s hockey and I love that kind of stuff. But when it comes to greasy hits like this, I got no time for it. What a chicken shit move. And as soon as Goodbranson gets back up and goes after him, watch what he does. He falls to the ice like a true coward. Ah, his teammates are standing up fighting his battle while he's busy laying on the ice like a piece of shit. Even laughs about it while he's sitting in the box. How can you respect anyone like that? Now, Big Bad Goodbranson would get the last laugh later in the game. Cousins is on his way into the Blue Jacket zone. Goodbranson grabs him, tosses him down to the ice like he's littering an empty pizza box out the window and just starts firing away. He goes to town on him. And you know what? Good for him. I mean, somebody's got to teach him. If you keep poking the bear, you're probably going to get roughed up a bit. Now let's move on to the most recent example. Example number two, we got the Valimaki incident. And again, this is this is pure Nick Cousins kind of hockey. Valimaki finds himself down on his knees when Cousins comes in and just hits him. He knows he's down, he knows he's vulnerable, but he's still got to get his shot in. And look at Jason Zucker, he's got front row seats, doesn't like it at all, and he says, you know what, that's it, I've seen enough. Maybe it's time to let Cousins smell one of his own farts. Boom! Jason Zucker becomes a dirty little Zucker. What a hit. Just zucks him up big time. Cousins decides to, you know, lay on the ice where it's safe until the dust settles. But spoiler alert, he's actually fine. But here's what's interesting, okay? Zucker does what Cousins never does. He actually drops his mitts, mans up to what he just did, and gets into a pretty spirited battle. Now, it might not seem like a big difference, but it is a big difference. If you're going to play that kind of a game and continue getting away with all kinds of dumb little plays like these, then at least have the boss to face the music. Kevin Bieksa was right on the money last night. That's a red. And it's kind of funny because I actually can't remember Nick Cousins playing like this when he was in Montreal. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really consider him a dirty player throughout his career until he landed in Florida. But to his credit, I mean, it's like six NHL teams that he's been on now, and he's only 30 years old. So maybe he's just trying to add different elements to his game so he can be different, which is good. But at the same time, He's going to have to change something up, man. Not only has he been pissing everybody off, but he just looks like a huge wuss. God, even even Petrie might be able to handle him. You guys can let me know your thoughts on this stuff down in the comment section. Don't forget to slap the like button across the face before you leave here. And hey, well, I'll see you next time.